Do you want to be able to control functionality within your PC in a small form factor? I got you. And we're back DLG fam. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to all the new viewers. Bienvenidos a todos al canal DLG. Como siempre, gracias por tomar el tiempo en venir a nuestro canal. So what is a device that has programmable keypads, control your lighting, start up your PC, built-in microphone, monitor the heat within your CPU, check out your follower account, and play some retro games. What is it? Woo! Look at that guys right there, the Colo Play Cyberpunk Desktop Controller. All of the things mentioned before, this device can't take care of it. So, what is Colo Play? They sell a lot of accessories, color hexagons, your triangles, your color strips, and now this nifty little controller. Let's go to the unboxing and check out how does this device look inside? Look at that right there on the box itself. You're actually able to see a printout of what the device looks like from the front. All right, nice little presentation. Let's check this out. We got the little instructions here of what to do. Plug in, user guide, and more info. Scan the QR code to find out more information about it. Hey, look at that right there, guys. Man, that looks pretty neat. Oh, that's kind of heavy. That's nice. Look at that, guys. Wow. I like the matte black finish on it. That's pretty nice. And you got this nice little rubber piece on the bottom so it won't slide around on your desk. And let's check out the back side of it. All right, so, oh, 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 too much clicking effects going on here. Let me see how I can hold this. You got a USB Type-C connection and more than likely, that is the reset button to reset the actual device. We got some breathing vents back here and you have four buttons all across a digital dial to be able to control the actual features that this has and we'll do the peel later on let's see what else comes in here so you get the little instructions of how to set it up and what the functionality is you know the typical manual to let you know how to work the device itself obviously another qr code so you could get more information so what else comes in here besides this other box here let's see anything else okay nope that's it all right let's see what else comes in this other little box and more than likely that's gonna end up being the usb cable yep it is a usb type a cable to a usb type c cable just to let you guys know the colo play cyberpunk is only compatible to pcs at the moment mac users will have to wait i'm not too sure if colo play plans out to release an update for the device to allow it to function also with macs but let's plug this in and see what the boot up looks like. All right, here we go. Initial boot up. Okay, let's line this up here and let's plug it in right there. All right, gotta set up the time zone for Los Angeles. It's negative seven. So let's go to negative seven right there. Press down on the jog wheel. Bam, all right, so now it's booting up. It's actually searching for Wi-Fi and it found my Wi-Fi right now. This device is only compatible to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and set that up just to show you guys real quick. The way you select your password is, I'm not sure if you're able to see the bottom left on this. You press this button here, you switch from characters to numbers to lowercase letters and uppercase letters. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna set the password on this. All right, so it's actually attempting to connect to my network right now. Gotta give it a few minutes to see if it actually works. In the meantime, let's do the whole peel. All right, guys, so the device is now connected to my Wi-Fi and connected to my PC. It says here, please connect the Colo Light in your PC USB if you are using the PC related functions. All right, so it's connected and it's asking me to download the actual client where you go to your desktop and you go to this specific site, go to cololite.com and you're able to download the client itself. All right guys, so in order for you to control the device, you have to go to coloplay.com, you go to the actual product itself, go to product collections, Coloplay, go to the Cyberpunk, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, where you will see where it says download, you go here and you download the Colo Play desktop. This will actually allow you to program the actual device. All right, so the actual program is downloaded and I'm getting this pop up from Windows. Obviously, you know where it's coming from, so I'm gonna run it anyways. We're gonna go ahead and install it and give me a few seconds and we'll come back to it and set it up. So right here is my PC info where you can see where the temperature is fluctuating between 38 and 41 degrees Celsius, the load on the system, the clock CPU, the GPU temperature, which is pretty hot right now. Everything on here, including the fan speed for the GPU, the RAM, and the speed of my network. Now in the next tab, you're able to actually add applications. Right here, there it is, YouTube counter. 
Colo controller, Colo inspired, PC switch. This will actually allow you to turn on your computer with one press of the button. You, that's pretty dope because you don't have to reach over to press the power button on your PC. So that's a neat thing right there. You could do a keypad, a dashboard, and there's some extensions. I'm not too sure what it says there because I, I think that's Chinese. Please correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. Nine application slots right there. And here are all the networks where you're actually able to set it up. And as far as these buttons go, you get four layers as to what you want them to do. You press here, you're actually able to set it up to record. Go to Windows, you're actually able to set up some macros so it could do certain functions on your PC. That's pretty neat right there. Media, you're able to do previous, next, volume up, volume down, mute. That's another a nice thing right there, another nice little feature on this all-in-one device. You're also able to launch programs from here. Remember, you get four different actual buttons to be able to do that. So make some good use of them. And look at that, you could actually launch your favorite website. We go to youtube.com forward slash at dad life gaming. There we go. That's the site right there. So this is a pretty straightforward application right here. You're actually able to check for updates here for the app itself. That's pretty dope what Cololite did with this. And I dig it, this is pretty neat. So let's go back to that overhead shot so we could finish setting it up. That way you guys can see the way it, the specs look on the actual dial. All right guys, so I show you how to set up the application on your PC. Now let's continue here. If any further system setup is needed, press the button near the USB type C port, which is the one back here. Let's carefully turn that around, which is this one right here. I thought that was a reset button, but it's not. So let's continue. Look at that right there, guys. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it on the screen itself, but there's actually a software version update for the device itself. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and we'll come back to it once this has been updated. All right guys, so there it is. So it's set up to actually capture all my stats of my computer as far as the CPU usage goes. If you press down on the jog wheel, you'll be able to switch to this GPU. And as you guys can see, there's no GPU power being used right now. So move on over, you'll get the RAM, the RAM usage. You'll get the actual speed of my network as you guys can see right there. And you go back to the actual CPU usage. That's pretty cool. So now you have that all at hand without having to go over to an application on the PC to be able to see this. All right, guys. So if you jog the wheel, you're actually able to go through the different applications that you set up through the app on the actual computer. Here is the dashboard. Here you got the YouTube counter. Obviously, you need to put your YouTube ID in, in order for you to get your subscriber count. And the PC switch. This actually turns your PC on. This is actually a game. So if you go in here, check it out guys, there's that little dino game right there. As you guys can see, you can barely see it, but it's just like the game that actually appears on the Google Chrome when your system is offline. All right guys, there it is, the Coloplay Cyberpunk. This is a pretty neat device. It does not take up a lot of space, a lot of real estate on your desk. If you're into looking for a device that you could actually do all these things, Another thing guys, just to let you know, this device can only control the colo lights. It cannot control any other type of lighting for the time being. I'm not too sure if colo light is going to implement something as far as a third party app for you to be able to control other companies lighting. That would be pretty cool because everyone uses different type of companies as far as lighting goes. And this device actually goes for $134.99 on their website. Let me know down in the comments below if you own a colo light cyberpunk desktop controller all right guys so there it is the cololite cyberpunk desktop controller man that's pretty neat you know what this device i think i could find some use for it around here but i can tell you one of the downsides that i wish there would be a better way to actually input like as far as keyboard entries you know that would be pretty nice cololite pay attention to this if you can implement within your desktop app a system where you use your keyboard in order for you to input uh, Wi-Fi, maybe uh, your YouTube ID, or any other things that require you to use an extensive amount of characters, because right now, what you do is you actually use the jog wheel to go through the actual ABCs, or your one, two, threes, or all your characters, then, then you have to press on the actual jog wheel, press it down, to actually get it to enter all the letters. That's one thing that I feel that you guys could get better at and that's the one downfall on this device itself because you don't want to sit there for 10-20 minutes just inputting passwords and stuff like that. But 
you could actually control your volume on your PC through this dial. You want to minimize all your windows, you press that, bam, look at that guys, it went down. Back up, press it again. You can actually program this device to do different tasks within your PC, open programs as mentioned before, close them, shut down your computer, all from this small little device. So let me know down in the comments below if you think you would find a use for this device itself. I think I could uh, probably prop it somewhere around here in my uh, little small work area, but I know for a fact this would be a great use. Another thing guys, a built-in mic. So if you do have those Colo lights set up and you want your lights to dance around at the beat of your music, this device has a built-in microphone. I'll leave a link down in the description below as far as to where you're able to get this device itself. So if you're a dad, a gaming dad looking for your device that can actually control your PC without having to hit all these different keys on your computer for it to do one thing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. But till next time, guys, I'm Ted. Peace out. So what is this device that has programmable? So what is this device? It has programmable. So what is the device that has programmable? Pro, so what is the device that has programmable keypads? <laughs>